Hi there, thanks for tuning in to your source for HD gameplay. My name is Chris and today I'm going to cover communication in DayZ, the Arma 2 mod. Okay, so communicating in DayZ. Communicating with other players is very important if you want to maybe avoid a conflict, maybe want to trade something, or maybe you just want to scare somebody or who knows, right? But for whatever reason, if you want to talk to someone, there are two ways you can do it. You can do it through voice or through a chat. If you press down the comma or the period key, you can cycle through the different communication channels. I just press comma. As you can see on the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you see the channel name that you're on. So direct communication, vehicle channel, and group channel. In Daisy, if you want to talk to people around you, you're going to want to be in direct communication. In order to chat to someone, you click down the slash button and then you'll have this pop up. All you do then is just type into it and then press enter. And then as you can see, it worked, it's sent. Anyone around the area, I think it's 40 meters, something like that. Anyone close to you is gonna be able to see this message. That's how you text to other people in Daisy. However, if you want to talk with other people, you're gonna need a microphone. And in order to engage this voice communication you're going to need to use caps lock caps lock is the default key for communicating with a microphone so all you do is press caps lock hold that down and as you can see on the screen i just had a microphone icon pop up this means that you are now communicating with people around your area so you should be careful with this because anyone can hear you anyone around the area friendlies or hostiles will be able to pick up on your communication once i release caps lock that icon goes away now if I want to keep talking for an extended period of time, all I have to do is double click caps lock and then the microphone will remain activated. In order to deactivate the microphone, I just double click caps lock twice once more. There we go, clicked it twice and now it is gone. So that is how you communicate with other people in Daisy. Remember you have voice communication and you have text communication and everyone can see what you're saying or hear what you're saying in the direct communication channel. So be aware of where you use these. They can be useful tools. You can use them for communicating or they can also uh, put you in a world of trouble. Have fun with that. Now you know how to communicate with other people. So have a great time in DayZ. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any friends wondering how to communicate in DayZ, show them the video. I would really appreciate that. And I will be making more videos on DayZ, both informative and just for fun. So if you'd like to get a heads up on when those videos do come out, subscribe to this channel and you'll be up to date. I think that covers it for today. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.